Hello, so uh, I'm making this video to show you how you can use the um, um, the wall prefabs that you sent me via email. I'm going to show you how you can um, use those to create a wall profile. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to use uh, the object spawn tool and modular snapping yeah, to snap the pieces together. Um, and I'm going to start off with this piece. I'm going to double click on it and make sure uh, so make sure that this first this initial piece that you're placing it has make sure it has a rotation of zero by pressing i on the keyboard yeah okay and make sure it's also the middle piece like the piece that's sitting in the middle okay so this is a this is a little uh, requirement okay so now let's uh, let's place the other pieces um, the pieces are meant to overlap yeah so, uh, but that this is automatically uh, this is automatically handled by uh, by by the by the tool when you snap them to the grid. Yeah. So don't don't try to make them uh, you know something like this. Just this is how they should look like. Okay. Now let's uh, move on in this direction. It's okay if you have a gap here. In this particular case, this is fine uh, because we're going to add pillars. Yeah. So uh, I looked in the I had a look in the example scene in the demo scene. And these wall pieces are uh, supposed to be used with pillars at the corner. So uh, a little bit later on, we're going to add pillars for the outer and inner corners. But for now, let's just take care of the of the wall without any pillars. Okay, so this is how the wall pieces uh, snap together. Now I'm going to select all of them. Yeah, so switch to selection mode and then select all of these wall pieces. Click on uh, create prefab inside the prefab library manager window. Uh, give your prefab a name i called it sinti dungeon wall and you also have to select the destination folder for the prefab i have a folder called wall example prefabs so you can just drag and drop right here in the field and then i just click on create uh, i already have a prefab with the same name and it's asking me if i want to overwrite it i'm gonna click yes and then uh, i'm gonna click on the prefab that we created and uh, click on open and now what we need to do is we're going to select this middle, this, this wall piece that's sitting in the middle. Uh, we're going to call that middle straight. This one that goes out of the inner corner, we're going to call that last straight. And this one right here is that leads inside, that leads into the outer corner. It's called uh, first straight. All right, so at this point we have something that we can use. So um, I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna use the default modular wall uh, profile. Uh, I'm gonna take the Sinti dungeon wall example prefab and drag and drop it right here. And then I'm gonna take the wall prefab that we've been using and drag and drop it right here in the straight wall slot. And now if I, um, uh, if I switch to modular walls, and double click on it. It can be any prefab. Uh, let's let's go in this direction. Ah, okay. This is yeah. This something this can happen. I think uh, when when that happens, I think this is a bug. When when that happens, just press refresh. Uh, this is something I'll I'll take care of. Yeah. Okay. So notice that you get these gaps, right? Uh, the reason why that is is because these wall pieces actually have these bricks on the sides and by default the plugin will use the mesh to calculate the bounds of the of the objects and it will lead to incorrect results so what we need to do is uh, you need to click on this truncate truncate forward size toggle right here and then click on refresh again and now it will uh, now it will work correctly So let's uh, let's take a look at this. Notice that there's no longer any gap uh, between the walls. Yeah, everything's looking uh, everything's looking fine. Okay, so uh, what, what I so I said earlier that um, we have this situation where we have this gap here at the outer corner, and the reason why that is is because these prefabs were designed to be used with uh, pillars, and we have a nice uh, collection of pillars here that we're going to use. I think these are the ones. Let me just uh, delete this. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open up the uh, Sinti Dungeon Wall 
uh, prefab again and we're going to add those pillars but before I do that um, let me just make sure that all of these guys snap to grid okay so uh, we want to add a pillar in the inner corner and one at the outer corner and let's uh, let's take a look here in the prefab manager we have corner inner yeah so this is the one that we're gonna place right here I'm gonna click on this uh, yellow button that will highlight it in the uh, uh, in the project view I'm gonna drag and drop it here in the scene view and then use the gizmos to rotate it and then snap it into place yeah there we go and one over uh, one over here I think so uh, this is the outer yeah we're looking for this one corner outer zero one again press the uh, yellow glowing button drag and drop and uh, how is this supposed to be I think this is yeah this is it so rotation of 90 degrees also make sure you snap all axes and then put it in the right place yeah that, that looks that looks about right okay now uh, what we need to do is we need to name those pillars in the following way so the pillar in the the pillar in the in, in um, <laughs> sorry uh, the pillar which resides in the inner corner has to be called pillar inner corner middle and then this one right here is supposed to be called uh, the outer corner is called pillar outer corner uh, middle all right now uh, what we need to do is we need inside the modular wall prefabs window we need to check spawn pillars and then uh, we need to specify a pillar prefab profile uh, this is actually a a random prefab profile so if you go to tools gspawn windows random prefabs uh, you get this window now notice that I already have the uh, pillar prof uh, you, so you have to add you have to have the, the pillar prefabs in this uh, profile let me just clean this up okay and we're going to add the pillar prefabs inside this window right here so we have the inner corner one and then we have the outer corner one okay now the final step that you need to perform uh, is again select make make sure you select those prefabs the, the prefab assets yeah? so click on the yellow button and make sure that these prefabs have the one of these tags assigned to them so the um, the inner corner prefab has to have the pillar inner corner middle tag assigned to it and the outer corner prefab has to have the pillar outer corner middle tag yeah uh, in your in your case you most likely won't have these tags so you have you will have to click on add tag and then uh, click on the plus icon uh, and add the tag name here and then you can just uh, you can just select it you can just select the, the tag that you've added okay so now that, now that we've uh, now that we've done this what we can do is we can spawn these walls again Let's just press refresh to make sure that everything works uh, correctly because uh, when you make changes to the wall example prefab it, it, you always have to click on refresh and because we've added those pillars we have to click on refresh okay so now so let's see how this looks notice that we get the outer corner pillar here here we get the inner corner pillar again inner corner outer corner and so on and so forth okay so everything seems uh, I hope I'm not mistaken I hope there's not any error here but uh, it looks everything looks all right to me and uh, yeah uh, something else that you can do is uh, if you want to have different variations of the uh, of the walls um, if we go here inside the uh, prefab manager I think I missed them There you, go. you see we can have uh, we, we, we have different uh, versions of the same wall so what you can do is uh, you can assign these to 
to the straight wall slot and then uh, you can define a spawn chance for each one of these guys uh, now I'm gonna leave all of these to one which means that they all have an equal chance of being picked so now the plugin will randomly pick uh, between these uh, between these uh, prefabs ah, sorry so let's see uh, yeah, there you go. See, we have a version where it has, an, uh, where it has a dent inside. Uh, now, these guys with the dents, they're actually a lot thicker and they don't play well with the, uh, with the pillars. So this was, uh, yeah, this was a bad example, I think. Let's, uh, let's remove the dent guys because they don't... Uh, I think this is the one. And vault 2. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see yeah because it, it's it's a little bit more yeah it's thicker and i think it doesn't play well with the uh with the pillars so let's yeah let's remove that and leave the other ones only uh maybe i will manage to make it work it should work with uh, with those prefabs too but i suppose it doesn't work in this case okay so let's see there you go See, we get different versions of the wall prefabs. Some of them look broken, some of them look nice. There you go, okay. What you can also do is you can have a single prefab here and then you can use uh, the prefab replacement mechanism in order to um, quickly replace some of these wall pieces. So for example, uh, I'm now currently I'm in selection mode. What I can do for example, if I can uh, select some of these guys and then uh, I can uh, hold down the Alt key and then left click on one of the prefabs in the prefab manager and then it, this this way you can create you know pathways and uh, and stuff like that yeah now uh, you have to be careful because some of these prefabs are two-sided some of them are one-sided so you have to basically complete the uh, you, you you would have to create another wall on this side and and so on so uh let's let's do a few of these again Sorry about that. Alt, left click, and there you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, yeah. That, that's pretty much it. It takes a little bit of setup. So there is a, uh, a bit of setup involved. But once you have the setup ready, then you can, you know, you can pretty much uh, fly with it. You can uh, you, you can speed things up um, by quite a lot. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to upload this on YouTube. Um, uh, it's going to be set to private uh, or unlisted, uh, but I'm going to give you the link so that you can watch it. And if you have any, any other questions, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, let, let me know. All right, thank you. Bye.